the fighting is intensifying in Ukraine. In a northern neighborhood in Bakhmut, we have some new video. And it shows fighters with Russia's private army, Wagner, taking shelter in an industrial plant. Take a look at this. Tens of projectiles are striking here every single day. They have an enormous amount of ammunition, and it is restocked on a daily basis. They are not letting our fighters raise their heads. Well, the ones alive talking there are the lucky ones. Uh, the death toll for Russia and eastern Ukraine is uh, unbelievable. We've got a diary entry to share with you. This is from a Russian soldier. Ukraine's defense ministry uh, says that they uh, obtained it from a Russian soldier. And what it says, such that it is, uh, it's got dates and, and death toll. So March 1st, 100 soldiers undertook an assault, 16 remained. March 3rd, out of 116 soldiers, 23 remained. March 4th, out of 103 soldiers, 15 remained. March 5th, out of 115 soldiers, three remained. Well, these, of course, are, are staggering losses for Putin. My next guest is a Ukrainian soldier, Roman Trukimets. He has been fighting along the front lines in Bakhmut and documenting it. Take a look at this. This is how we fight. And it's not like some kind of movies. It's, it's our reality because one terroristic state tried to invade another country. And that would be did with soldiers and with civilians. And out front now, Roman Trukimets. He was recently injured. He is now recovering, and he joins me from just a few miles outside of Bakhmut uh, tonight in these overnight hours in Ukraine. Roman, you posted a picture with the caption, lucky enough to return from hell, and it has... It uh, sticks in my memory. I, I can't unsee that picture as you were uh, in Bakhmut. What did you see when you were fighting there? Uh, I've seen lots of lots of uh, stuff, and uh, I can't even describe uh, the whole emotions. That's why I try to drop some video and do photos because sometimes uh, you can understand everything just just looking at the photo. It's uh, really hell on earth, that's what I can say, <laughs> just in a few words. You've posted videos of yourself in the trenches. Obviously, the fighting is going on around you uh, so that, that we all can see some of what you're experiencing uh, in, the, in the horrific hand-to-hand -hand combat that you've been in the midst of. What, has, what was your role in Bakhmut? I understand you're a sniper. Okay, okay, I see. Um, First of all, I must commend my uh, little group, like 20, 20 people. And uh, also I'm fighting as a sniper, sometimes as anti-tank soldier, sometimes just regular inf infantry when when it's close battle, like up to five meters between me and our enemies. So there is no sniper rifle for sure. It's uh, AK and a hand grenade. So I have dif different tasks to do uh, on the front line. Roman, you talk about being so close to them. What is it like when you, I guess, look someone in the eye so close like that, knowing that you have to kill them? Um, you see, it's... It's not like that. It's, uh, you, you can't think at this moment, uh, you, ju you just act. And uh, if you if you if you become more quickly than your enemy, you survive. That's all. So no thoughts, no thinking about. Oh my God, I can maybe kill somebody. He, he wanna leave. He have some family. No, nothing. You only if you're lucky enough and you overcome your enemy in close battle, you realize that you save yourself uh, and uh, save your fellow's life and get rid of one creature who try to kill or rip a civilian and take your land. That's all. You have posted a video of an experience you had with Wagner fighters, and I'm just going to pay a clip of your video. I'm on the front line position near Bakhmut, getting ready for get rid of invaders with these guns, this big machine gun. And baby my sniper rifle so we continue fighting for freedom 
We have been hearing, Roman, about a lot of problems for Wagner, uh, that, that so many of them have been dying. They've been rushing into Ukrainian forces and dying. They're running out of uh, ammunition. What has your experience been fighting with the Wagner forces? Oh, I don't even know how to describe it because when I when I first heard about the uh, infinity going and going on position and not afraid to die, you know, uh, I I don't believe it's true. It's it's maybe some somebody tell me about Lord of the Rings when they have infinity orcs and wave by way they try to take position, but when I face it. Uh, I can't believe it's true. I can't believe that uh, people, r real person, can run without uh, afraid to die, without like no motivation. But they see how their fellows falling down and they continue running. Uh, but uh, when I realize they their secret of success, I understand everything. They have uh, they have some uh, units that stand uh, near the uh, behind their back. And they shoot all of them who try to return. So Wagner have only oh, only one chance to survive is to take our position, our trenches. That's all. They have no choice to to return to the position because they will be killed from their mm. fellows. Mm. Roman, as, as we're talking tonight, I, I know you're you're recovering and you're going to be heading back to the front lines. Before the war, you were a realtor. And uh, yeah. you've, you've posted pictures of, of your family. Do you have any idea on when you'll be able to see your family again? Mm, okay, let's be optimistic if I'll survive in future battles. I think maybe in a few months it will be possible. Do you think about that moment? Oh, sorry? Do you think about seeing them? Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, sure. Mm. Well, it's you know, you know, on on the war, it's one of the uh, difficult uh, thing that uh, you can't you can't see your friends, you can see your families, parents, you can see girls, you only see your fellows around, and a little bit civilian and enemies. So sometimes you know, you're tired of such company, and you want to see another kind of uh, peoples. Well, Roman, thank you very much. I appreciate you taking the time and sharing with us uh, as, as much as you were able to. Thank you. Always welcome. Thank you for asking me.